Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your answers for tonight. Mia Santa and Sean Dennis. Now it's time to 
announce our first award, the Heritage Allyship Award. This recognition is given to organizations and establishments who have served and provided support to the transgender and gender non-conforming communities. The one feature about these entities is that they inspire others, organizations, to be strong allies. Please welcome our 2019 Heritage Allyship Awards to the stage. Uh, Lion Martin Clinic, Health, Health 360, and the Grand Ducal Court of San Francisco. also known in the community as Landa Lakes, and uh, I'm from the Grand Ducal Council, and I would like to thank everyone who, um, who voted for us to have this, and it's, it's, it's really special to receive this Allyship Award because our organization has been around for 46 years, and we've been raising funds for our community, and that includes our whole community, so we thank you, and, we, and remember that we always call each and every one of you our family. Thank you. Y'all ready for a little performance? Let me tell you how excited I am for our next performer. She's a fellow daughter of the South. She spent a little time in Texas. We all have our issues. But now, she was listed as one of 2018's top 20 LGBT artists in the world. But she is gracing us with her presence. She is the one and only Star Emma Rossu! <laughs> Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to Trans Day of Visibility. I wanted to say that being visible for some of us is not an option. And I really urge all the cis people here to think about how you are visibly showing your care for other trans people, how you're visibly showing that you care about trans issues, and how you are getting out there in the streets and making a difference for us. Because for some of us, we are visible all the time. Um, so thank you so much for being here, everyone. 
I'm going to perform two songs off of my last album. And like Mia said, I'm really happy Billboard voted it as one of the top 20 albums of last year. So this song is called Be Free. Where I say 
2019, the community voted three outstanding members of the trans and GNC community who has worked tirelessly to create change, inspire, and move our community to a positive direction and improve the quality of lives of many trans and GNC folks. Please put your hands together for our legacy awardees, living legend and advocate, Donna Persona, Executive Director of St. James Infirmary, Ms. Tony Newman. And Community Advocate and Manager of Civic en Engagement at the Office of Transgender Initiatives. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Is it Masio Person? Yes. Here they are, everybody. Put your hands together once again. Come on, Tony. Hello, everybody. I just want to say I feel very blessed and honored on behalf of St. James Infirmary. I will keep fighting for another 25 years for transgender equality. Thank you so much. Thank you all so much. Um, this means a lot. I will sort of introduce a theme tonight. Um, but one of the reasons why I feel like this really means a lot to me is because um, as a person from an immigrant family, whose family is all over the world, who was exiled from a country, and now I don't necessarily have folks nearby, home has always been sort of a concept that I've struggled to find. Um, yes, and what I've found is you all are my home. Uh, and I love you. Um, and I'm so grateful for this, and I will talk, well, we'll 
we'll talk more about home later on tonight, but you all are so important and we are each other's home. And so we're here to take care of each other. Good evening, everybody. I'm Donna Persona. And I'm gonna pretend that we're at the Academy Awards and if I forget anybody, please forgive me. Okay. Now, I, I just want to say that uh, for, for, for the last 10 years, uh, what is that, what, is, what are you saying? No, I want to say that for the last 10 years, I've been involved with different uh, activism, okay, in San Francisco, and I was introduced to it originally by the Ducal Court. I used to entertain at Aunt Charlie's, and on Sundays, I would do fundraisers with them, and I, I met a lot of organizations that way. Lyra, Open House, Night Ministries, Toys for Tots. So that's where I got my grounding. But from there, I expanded, and uh, I ended up in other, with organi other organizations. And, uh, but the one that's closest to my heart is uh, Trans March. Yeah. And uh, being with this uh, community and with this organization, I learned, I got my footing for what it takes to be an activist. So I want to thank Trans March for that. And, and you know, that's dearest to my heart. And, and I'm the type that I, I go towards the most marginalized groups and the most vulnerable, where I feel that I can do the most. Yes, and um, so that, that's where I've, I've kept my focus with trans, the transgender community. And, and uh, you know, I'm an old lady, but I've got a lot more to do, okay? Everybody give it up for Donna Persona. Just tuning in and Lucia Persona. Yes, and photo time. Now come on, Donna. Donna, come back. Donna. Donna. I need you to say her name louder. Donna. <laughs> we we'll do a photo real quick. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, your Legacy Awards for 2019 for Transfer Video Visibility. Ms. Donna Persona, Ms. Tony Newman, and Maceo Person. And give it up for your reigning emperor and empress of San Francisco, Terrell Grimesworth, and Baby Shakes. Red Open Road, there you go, all right. Masaya, we need you back up here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the one and only Rexy! Thank you. 
We are giving this to newly organized groups and entities that have dedicated lens on uplifting marginalized communities and creates action towards progress and equality. Our awardees are, drum, drum roll please, Queen Culture and the Office of Transgender Initiatives slash Trans Advisory Committee. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, I see you. Okay. Rushing up here. Hi. I, I know I am part of this. Look at that. for all the work you do. Hi, everyone. <laughs> um, I am here on behalf of Queen Culture Initiative. Our founder, Aria, is away on business, but she is so grateful for this award and for the opportunity to be here. Um, I serve, my name is Luna Salemi. I serve on the advisory council of Queen Culture Initiative. And it has been such a blessing to be a sounding board and a support for bringing to life Aria's vision of cultural empowerment and cultural equity for trans women of color. Um, we just had a few quick thank yous from Queen Culture to the Borealis, Borealis Philanthropy, Aldo Gallardo, Third Wave Fund, and Horizons Young Professionals for supporting our efforts. Thank you for all of your support. This work has to, have to have the capital behind it for it to work, so we're so grateful. Also, thank you to all of the amazing community, all of the amazing women that have come to support all of the programming that Queen has done. Over the past year, you are the lifeblood of these efforts for creating these moments for all of us, and we're so grateful. Also, thank you to the elders, especially the black trans women elders who paved the way for the work that Queen is doing today, this past year, and every day, especially Miss Major Griffin Gracie, as well as um, the late Bobby Jean Baker, may she rest in peace, but Thank you, on behalf of Queen Culture, we're so happy to be here and so grateful for all of the support. We hope you will continue to support all of Queen's efforts in the coming year because we have a lot of amazing stuff coming up. Thank you. Hi everyone, you having fun tonight? Yes. So, hi everyone. My name is Claire Farley. I'm the director of the Office of Trans Initiatives, the first office in the country uh, to work for the mayor's office on trans issues. And um, I'm so grateful to work with an amazing uh, committee that is really advising our office um, and advising the mayor's office around what are the priorities for the community. So, so grateful for this award and want to thank our amazing TAC and staff we have a booth here in the back. Uh, we're going to be launching our, our Trans Home SF campaign today, just about in a minute here. Uh, but just so grateful for the leadership. And I just want to remind us that the more we get involved, the more we engage, um, that's where the change happens, whether it's inside City Hall, whether it's on the streets, or whether it's in your communities, in your workplaces. There's so much that we can do when we come together. So. Thank you so much, and I guess we'll kick it off to the film. Thank you so much. Okay, so continuing with the theme of home. So you may have noticed there's a table right over there called Our Trust Home SF. So the TAC has launched a campaign called All Trans Home SF um, because we all know in our experiences that housing is one of the critical issues that are facing our communities. Um, when we talk to all the trans service providers that we know, it's the number one issue that's not being addressed. And recently we've just learned that nearly 49% of our communities in San Francisco have experienced homelessness. 
that's a crisis. And so, this is something that we can fix as a city and county, and something that we need to pay attention and address. But I think in order to do that, we need to, um, you know, talk to our supervisors and talk to our elected officials and really engage and say what our stories are and what our experiences are around housing and civility and homelessness. Right? Yes. Yeah, because everyone deserves a safe place to call home. Yeah. So to kick off the campaign, um, well, one, like sign the postcards so they will go to elect our local elected officials. Um, and then you'll get onto a list. Um, but also to kick off this campaign, um, the TAC and the coalition partners of our Trans Home SF um, is launching it with this video that will be premiered tonight and then will be shown more on Sunday as well. So, welcome. It's a small word with big meaning. Our home is our castle. Home is where the heart is. There's no place like home. Because home means love. Home means family. But too many members of our trans family don't have home. It's a crisis. Many of us end up homeless because of discrimination. You feel tired because you don't have a safe place to sleep. You can't apply for jobs without an address. And you often face violence and discrimination. No one should have to go through this. But we can fix this. After all, we're innovators, leaders, we're fighters, somos resistentes, somos poderosas. And we're not alone. And to those in Washington, D.C., who continue to try and erase transgender people, it won't work, not here in San Francisco. When we work together, there's nothing we can't do. Join us at Our Trans Home SF to get involved. Everyone deserves a safe place to call home. I think we should, re we should replay the video with the music much louder. Can we do that, please? Yes. Give it up for, for our trans home. Yes. Wasn't that beautiful? I don't know if you caught me, but I was in that the first second. It was cute. Um, that was sweet or whatever. Um, thank you. So real quickly, I also want to announce um, and thank some of our partners at Sephora. Sephora has been leading the way when it comes to supporting our trans and queer siblings. Um, so if you look around, there is some flyers that look like this. Um, Sephora actually holds classes for trans folks on how to do makeup, skincare, specifically catered for trans people. So if you want to get some more information, there'll be some Sephora partners walking around with flyers. Um, Okay, continue? Okay, I get to talk about myself. <laughs> We're good? Oh, never mind. We're good. Bye. Give it up for Rexy. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a little intermission. We'd like you to network, to get to catch up with some old friends. So, for the time being, we're going to have Chico Chi right here making you dance at TVOV 2019. Do that again, because I know you're tired. It's been a long time. 
I'll leave. Hey, if you in the back and you can hear my voice, I know I'm loud. If you can come down a little closer, if you're willing and able, we would love to see your beautiful faces. I know it's dark, but you're so cute. So, I'm inviting y'all to come down closer because this is a performance you ain't gonna wanna miss, okay? So, our next performer is a local legend. He's been dancing for years. He's so good, he teaches classes on how to vote. So if you think you know how to vote, you're gonna need to watch this and learn how to really do it. So let's give it up for the one and only Jacqueline! Touch your girlfriend, I am your girlfriend, I let them know. That we alive, back on the air, for the installment of the show. Always for the next shit.
be back on the air for the last moment of the show. Always here for the motherfucking shit, honey. Jacquees, I didn't even know about Jacquees, but now I know. Thank you. Give another round of applause for that dance. Come on, y'all. All right. Y'all ready to celebrate some more community leaders and activists? Y'all ready? Y'all ready for our next award? Yeah? Y'all having a good time? It looked like it from up here. I'm having a great time. So, it's time to give out the award for the champion of change. This year, we've had two individuals that really stood out. And it's just important to note that these are folks that have been, to quote my ancestor, the minister, Bobby Jean Baker, if you know who she is, right? Doing the work. These folks have been doing the work. So I want to welcome to the stage our champion award winners tonight that uh, Honey Mahogany, the founder of Compton's Cafeteria Museum, and who's not here is Ms. Bianca Stevens, but honey, I'll clue you in on that. Congratulations, honey. Thank you so much. This is amazing. Um, I am incredibly honored. Thank you for this beautiful award. I also want to thank all my community members who fought with me to make Compton's Transgender Cultural District the first transgender cultural district in the country. I led that fight for two years and I have to say it was an absolute joy. I'm so proud of everything that we were able to accomplish. I'm also super proud and glad to be passing the, the torch on to Arya Saeed, who is the new executive director. I think she's gonna do amazing things with the district. Um, I love Trans Day of Visibility. I am so proud of every single trans person who is able to get up and go out and work every day. And also, y'all, it is 2019. It is 53 years since the Compton's Cafeteria riots. We can't just be visible anymore. We need a seat at every fucking table and we need to be fighting every day to ensure that we are represented and that we have equal rights. Right now our rights are under attack at the federal level in terms of the military, but we ain't gonna let that happen. We're not gonna let that go through. It's already getting pushed back yet again. We will fight every day if we have to to make sure that our rights are respected, that our humanity is respected, and that our contributions to this country are honored because we have been here. We will continue to be here long after 2020. But in the meantime, register to vote. Register as a Democrat. And if you can't vote, if you can't register to vote, get up and fight and make sure that the right candidates are put into office, okay? Because it is really important, that's how we create change. Thank you so much for this award, I love you all. I would also like to accept on behalf of Bianca Stevens, this Change Maker Award, representing for all the gorgeous black beauties tonight, right here on this stage. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I love Bianca, she's amazing, she's fierce. She's one of the best performers I've ever seen in my life and she is definitely a change agent here in San Francisco and across the world. So, thank you for her award. Give it up one more time for Miss Honey Mahogany. And I am putting her on the spot right now, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Sister Roma. showcases vitality and great service provided by these organizations to the greater trans and GNC community. This year's recipients of the Forerunner Award are Trans Thrive and the Transgender Law Center. Whoa. Hi, I, I didn't even know you were in town. I am for this weekend, this is the reunion. <laughs>
Fernando Law Center. Um, we thank um, the committee and for you to choose us as you know, one of the Forerunner Awards. Um, we started in San Francisco as a small organization of two over almost, almost two decades ago. And today we are the largest um, trans-led organization in the country. And we went from two staff to 30 staff and we continue to do, um, besides the law part, we continue to employ um, community-driven uh, strategies um, to help support and keep transgender and gender non-conforming people alive, thrive, and help them to fight for their own liberations. Um, and we wouldn't be able to do this if you didn't keep us um, humble and you didn't keep us honest. And we are now bringing what we've learned from San Francisco on a roadshow. Hopefully, you know, we can get um, transliteration sooner rather than later. Um, at least we know in San Francisco we don't have to worry about that guy in the White House. Because of you, we know that we have a safe place to return home to. Thank you. Thank you, Cecilia. Hi everybody, my name is Nico Cowell. I'm the program manager of Trans Thrive, which is the Trans Services Department at the San Francisco Community Health Center. I'm here with some of my fabulous colleagues, Carson, Harris, Taylor, Joshua. We're really honored to accept this award. We take our jobs really seriously, providing services for trans people, by trans people. Um, and this is one of my favorite events of the year where we can come together and celebrate our lives and celebrate each other just enjoy the evening. So thank you so much for the honor of the award and continue to enjoy the evening. All right, so exit, exit stage right. All right, thank you very much for showing up, Cecilia. We appreciate you. All right, so now it's time to give the Ally in Action Award. Just a sign that you're in progress doing good work 
and we're in it together. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. And if anyone wants to come to a brunch with amazing seniors this Sunday, my son Quinn has the flyers here, the man in the red suit, and he's happy to give you a flyer afterwards. Thank you guys. That's what I want to know. 